Hello, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Enshrouded, we've got a lot of to do, so let's get to it. So before I do, uh, the quests, looks like I'm gonna be going after two more, oh, what are they, craftspeople, right? So there's two more that I have active right now and we're gonna go get them. And so in anticipation, I extended the house and I made them a little area to stand over here. And then I gave him a little candle in the corner. And I found out that, it, you know, like some other games, like Valheim, actually, as you put stuff in here, like this table, these candles, this bench, the chair, the better bed, you can see now I'm up to 18 minutes rested. It's exactly like Valheim was. It's that comfort level you rank up by putting things in here. So, and that right there behind me, this is like a scaffolding. I needed this to uh, do the roof because I kept messing it up. Now, one other thing I did was I found that I had, I don't know if I saw this before. Uh, yeah, I did. I did with the armor for sure. But you see, it says the three, you know, and you go up here. Well, I had the tiny chest. So I made a small chest, which is a little bit larger. Then if you make the magic chest, it actually, this here, right here, it actually like, it's here. You can see all the inventory you don't have to like pull it out of the chest and put it in there oh and by the way i haven't seen the video comments yet because it hasn't come out yet but i'm sure you guys are all going to tell me that i had the shroud core in my chest so when i came back here after recording i looked in there i'm like i was moving stuff around and i had the sparks and i had the shroud core from the one of the fights, I guess. I don't know where I got it from, but I had one. So I did upgrade the altar. You can see altar level two. The next one is going to be five shroud cores. I have no idea how to get, get more of those, but we'll get them. So anyway, pretty cool, right? I got this guy. This thing, I really like the way that looks. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to map it out. Oh, by the way, I noticed that my recording gets jittery too. So it's not just here. I see it like losing uh, on the recording for some reason when it's when I zoom all the way out on the map for some reason. So we're going to fast travel to here. We're going to knock out the seed of suspicion, which is where we were before. And we're going to head over here to the alchemist, come back. And then the other one is clear over here. So I don't know, we'll see what the best way to get to that is. Now, I did take off from here and fly and hit this mountain, got this flame shrine, flew again, landed here, and I found a scavenger base that had a boss there, but it turned nighttime, so I had to get out of there. So I built, a, I built a, an altar there because it said one of my, one of my quests was to build a second altar flame altar somewhere out in the world right somewhere out in the world so i did that i did that did you do that yes i did all right so where did i say oh we're going this way oh and i unlocked double jump we take a <clears throat> quick look at that so i was here i unlocked runner and then double jump and then I went down here and I got one level in the battle mage which is uh, magic damage and I did one here which is a little bit more health and I did one here which is a little bit more constitution hoo, hoo, hoo. now you, when you jump you'll do the double jump and then you start to do your wings wings of glory <laughs> All right, so somewhere down here, I, the only reason I'm stopping here is, well, I won't be able to fly much farther than this, but there's one of those little, it's not even a side mission, it's whatever it is, Seed of Suspicion. Now, I have not tested <laughs> what happens when I run out of stamina in the air, and I don't really want to test that, so there is that. Okay, so let's see where this is supposedly at. We are here. It's supposedly there. 48 meters over here. Get out our sword in case something bad happens. Oh, what is that? Dude, that's... 
Did you see the mud on my pants? Is it in here? I gotta read what that said then. So the seed is a, the farmer in the wood guard buried his tre treasure in the mud filled fields, dig up the chest and claim his riches. Oh, wait, was there a map there? Oh, when I went out of here, I saw this X marks the spot. In the mud, I don't have, it might need that rake. Oh, there it is. Right there, I can see it. Oh, ow! Oh! Hey, doggy. Okay. Um, I did make, get off the fence. Look, I made a scrappy ax, a, a better ax, but I didn't have enough scrap metal to make the pick yet. And I went to that, that village over there, or that place, and I did, I did get more, but I have more now, but I, I, I forgot to make it. Okay. Oh. Okay. So my sword that I have. Look at my look at my pants. You get mud all over yourself. Let's check out this sword real quick. Look at this bad boy. Now mine is twenty. But that's because I've got it fully ranked up. This one's fourteen and has one, two, three, four, five. Wow, that probably could really bring that up. So we're definitely going to want to switch to that one and upgrade it. All right, now, here's where we're headed now. Way the deuce over here. Okay. I don't know if there's something in the middle there. It's one of those thingies. See, this right here makes me think that this area could get covered in the shroud. Cause this is that, I'm pretty sure this is that thing that resets the shroud for you. There's a dude in there. There's a dude in here. Is that a dude? Oh, it goes downstairs. Dude, that guy. Oh, jeez. Okay. So that was a different type of dude. He had salt. He had salt. Oh, no, not sit. Read. A new season. New arrivals. No waste time breaking ground. Okay, I thought I was going to talk about something new. So underneath here is something. Ice bolts. Oh, so the, those are some charges for that staff I haven't used. I'm not going to use that until I can actually figure out how to make charges. Looks like you can... Oh, wow, dude. There actually might be... Shrouded underneath here. Can't look like... Oh, yeah, it's shrouded down here, all right? I love how that thing takes off. And lights Gravewalker. Okay. New lore. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on down here. Okay. Okay, another ranged weapon. I haven't used my other one yet, so that's cool. Again, I need to know how to make those charges. Yeah, eat it, suckas. So I'm getting salt from these guys. That's another thing. There was something that required salt. So these guys came from over here. Oh, look at these guys. These stupid heads can't get out. 
Definitely want that salt. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, I thought I was stuck. All right, whatever. We got stuff out of here. But is there another way to go over here? Okay. I really like that light up thing. All right, interesting. Big building for that little bit of stuff, but we got it figured out. Cool. Did that mark this place with something? Wood guard. Harvest homestead and wood guard. Oh, it seems like... Is this wood guard over here? Wood guard's like down here in the juice. Down there. Okay. All right, I got places to go. I want to get more... Uh, I want to get more... Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to eat. I thought I ate the wrong thing. Wait, is it regening? Not very fast. Okay, so 390 meters this way. It's kind of hard to pass up these buildings, though, isn't it? These just seem kind of like... Oh, shoot. So that fire staff works really good against the bees. Oh, they got food over here. Probably should grab the food. Because I am collecting food for later on to see if... Uh... I don't know what that flower's all... Just for, like, potions? I was told to collect this stuff for potions later on. So if I can collect a bunch in one area. All right. Good. Sorry about your garden. Sorry about your garden. Wow, dude. How many... Three things in one... Maybe those are the ones that attacked me. Almost had it. Alright, let's get a move on. Get back on the road. See that thing shoot ahead and light that light up? It's like as you go, man, there's so many things that open up. Like, look at it. Where's that road go? Something. We'll see as this game progresses, like... Does it expect me to kind of go off the beaten path and find things on my own? Or is it going to guide me to the general area? Then you, like, if you want to visit these other things, you do? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Look at all the trees over here. I have three bee things in it. All right, it's, it, dude, it looks like some kind of stinking castle over there. Oh, this is... That's it up there. All right. Bring it on, suckas. So I'm getting the alchemist first. We're going to probably have to make some kind of bench for her. I think it's a, a lady alchemist. Okay, we got mud. I hear a wolf. Uh, there's a... Okay, so this is like a scrapper camp. Oh, that, that was an explosive. Dude, that was a uh, pretty good weapon he had going there. Mud in this area, just like in this region, I guess. There's another guy. Okay. Mud, mud, mud. 
Looks like a scrapper camp over there. Oh, and I did, I was breaking these walls down a little bit and you do get some scram for it. Ancient vault, the alchemist. Okay. First, let's run over here real quick. And of course, I went in the mud. Ow. Booga booga. Let's see if that said ineffective or not. That's effective. He doesn't get slowed down by the mud. He didn't get slowed down by the mud. What's up with that? All right, that thingy there that we got, where, where did that go? This thing here? Nah. We'll take the salvage beans off that. Repair equipment? It's a... Uh... Dude, it's an anvil. I want that at my house. A bow. A common bow. Alright. Fine. Forget it. Alright, let's go get this alchemist... All right, first, we got some food we can eat here. Eat one of those. And eat one of those. Looks like I'm at max health even without the eating the foods right now. I had no foods ticking away, but when I ate that one, it didn't it didn't help at all. Is that a big launcher up there? Dude I think there's a launcher up on the hill. Just out of range, I guess. Didn't didn't aggro him. down below there. The chest over here. I'm gonna give me some bombs. I wanna tame at the barrels, but it aimed at this guy. Sun. Did this open up anything? Nope. Okay. That didn't blow anything up. There's a book over here to read. Some lore. New lore pages. Scavenger. Scavenger stash. Okay. That could be something interesting. Scavenger stash. Oh, look at that. A note at the Alchemist Ancient Vault revealed that scavengers hid special belongings. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Where is that at? Right there. Hundred and fifteen meters. Is it down? Need that that looked like some kind of really cool something or another. Oh, please tell me it's not up there. Get 
definitely be up. Doesn't seem to be here. Shoot, it's nighttime. Alright. Oh wow, we're dirt, delete, rocks, delete, mushrooms, and that. Get my thing down here. This bow has 10 power, this one has 12 power. Arrow speed plus 7%. Oh yeah, this is salvage. Alright. Look at that overhang. I think it could be up there. How the heck we get... Oh, or in there. Okay. It says resisted, but look, it's doing some damage on him. I'm a battle mage! You know, getting the their weapons, though, is good, like uh, this guy. Because I can salvage it so I can upgrade my stuff later. Why do I feel like I'm right by an explosive thingy? That's an explosive thingy right there. Oh, shoot. Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's in here. See, it says scavenger stash. Clear back out there, but it's possible it could be in here. New location. Scavenger stash. Found it. And the winner is... Oh. <laughs> the Wailing Blade of Legendariness. Oh my god. Look at that thing. It's got fire on it. <laughs> That's going to be good. Quest updated scavenger stash. You found the Wailing Blade. It's branded by the Ca Capitals Master Blacksmith. Speak to Oswald Anders to find out more. All right. That's my blacksmith. So I talk to Oswald when we get back. And... Uh, See what the story with this blade is. What's the story, man? Let's, uh, let's consume one of these. A little whatever that was. Maximum something. Maximum stamina increased. All right. So is there any beds in here? Would be nice to take a nap. There's no beds in here. I don't think I have any... What was that? Rubble. Get rid of that. Definitely keeping that. Keeping that. Keeping that. I'm not keeping the bones because I'm, I'm like st stock a block full of bones. I'll move this stuff over here like this. There we go. All right. Yeah, I don't know about carrying, you know, wearing these boots and the other ones. And Wow, what does it take to make a stinking bed? Uh, wait, did I? Yeah, beds require a bench. Anyway, there's probably something I'm missing with that, but that's okay. And we're going to go back up where we were here. There's that ancient obelisk. It, we're right by that. We walked out to that at a different time. It's just on the other side of the hill. The only reason why I'm not, I try and say sleep so you guys can actually see. I know it's very hard to see. I don't know if I can get up this way. 
Oh, shoot. Okay. Double jump coming in handy. Coming in clutch. So probably you should take some health. Get that health ticking up there a little bit. Wow. Now the berries, like, barely do anything compared to the bandages. We gotta find this alchemist somewhere in here. All right, so that they're <laughs> that's kind of like a hint. They're giving me explosives, like that thing right there. Maybe I might need to blow this thing up. Oh, I see some dudes in there. Two of them. Three of them. Definitely need to upgrade this sword. Not killing very fast. Maybe something will happen when I talk to uh, the blacksmith about it. What the? Backstab damage. Wow. That extra backstag of damage was super big. Find the hunter. Hunter's the other one. We're on the alchemist. Might be up, up back in there, but I'm just gonna look this way. That's where I came in. Battering ram right there. Look at that battering ram. You're like, just walk up here. Looks like an organ or something. I don't know. It goes up. It goes up. I am getting my rested perk in here, though. That's nice of them. Better, uh, better hit the old number eight. See, now that my health has increased, it takes longer to actually heal that that increase. Oh, there's a big dude in there. Okay. All right. Well, I, I found the place. I can't wait to get my wizard's hat and go full battle mage on these fools. All right. Here we go. Uh. Okay, we got three things ticking. Oh, there's two of them in here. This is saying it's like effective. Even though the other one does damage, this is, seems to be more effective. Yeah, you guys aren't good guards. You can't guard the queen. Something up there. Some arrows. Flint arrows, okay. More arrows. Repair equipment. You know, this repair equipment thing is really cool and it doesn't cost me anything. Is that a axe right there? Something else is up top. Oh, it's not a lady. Alchemist Apprentice Gloves plus four more at Alchemist. Recipe unlocked. I don't even... I'm, I forgot. I'm not even wearing gloves. I'm not even wearing gloves. So that's, that's a thing. So I won't feel bad making some new gloves up.
like there could have been more people in here, man. Alchemist location. So I should be able to go back, right? And use that staff of conjuring or whatever it is. What is this stuff? Plus two spirit. Flowers. Hmm. What was I looking at? Um, I think it was... No, it was... Journal. Two craftspeople available. So, Balthazar the alchemist. And then one of these people are going to be a hunter. Look at He looks like a shaman. Alright, Balthazar. I will revive you when we get back home. I'm king of the world! What, uh... What do you think this is all about? You think there's stuff up? I mean, this is awesome looking and all, but... Oh, look at that right there. That's what it is. I don't see any hooks to grab. Can't really see anything up there. But I gotta try and get down to that other one. That's a silver chest. That. Oh shoot, I almost rolled right off. A crackling wand, a new wand, huh? But it's not, not any better than what I have. Oh, now the sun decides to come up. Man, that, how cool is that building? It's built into the wall. All right, let's go back home, I guess. I'm not seeing anything else here. I'm gonna go all the way back here where we live. Hi! <laughs> I couldn't wait to play. Another survivor awake in the alchemist will prove helpful by crafting potions and healing tinctures. Okay. So first things first, let's uh see this thing is 14 damage of fire and I'm using 17 damage of fire, so we don't need this guy. I'm going to salvage that. And then this is a shepherd's staff. And this is a shepherd's lightning. Yeah, 14, 14 rare. I think that this one's going to be better. It's legendary, so we're going to salvage that. Put that in there, put that in there. Got my sword here. I'm going to put this sword. So this sword, 14 damage. They're both 14. Wow, either one of the... i got to talk to the guy first before I figure out which sword I want to upgrade. All right, now, in here would be the craftable stuff. This is where all the crafting stuff goes. And then I've got a food one over here for... Food. I'm going to cook that stuff. This thing here, I'm going to put that in there so I remember what that is. And then the tomatoes. And then we got some flint arrows. I think the arrows are all in here. There we go. And then the potions go in there. And I have 18 bombs on me. It's pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's do. Let's cook this stuff up real quick. Cook. All right. Mm -hmm. I enjoy cooking. It's <laughs> other than the time my first time I cooked, I turned my meat into tar somehow. It's like, hey, you can now tar your roof with your lunch. Like, oh, well, that didn't work out so good for me. But did unlock tarred roof. <laughs> I can't wait to see if I get some new new armor. Like, I'm just wearing, like, padding, kind of. It's not even really armor, so... I think anything's going to be better than what I've got. 
Okay, uno mas. See, these are all stacking. I have stacks of this stuff cooked, so kind of important to do that. Now we need that. I need my wand. Where did I put my wand at? Right there. The summoning staff. Okay, tab. We want to... Balthazar the Alchemist, right? Yeah. Hey, hey! <laughs> Did you hear him? Hey, hey! Any new discoveries? Any new discoveries. Okay, so carpentry another set of hands would be useful to us if we were ever to plan to expand the base i for one could use more storage for my potions i happen to know the location of another ancient vault why not look around okay so we got a new quest and then eternally magic we are specks of dust in a whirlwind of stars my friend do you dare reach out Wishing to grasp a piece of eternity, perhaps obtaining the eternal spell would suit you. I know one was buried in an underground tomb along, alongside its dreadful master. You could use... Okay, thank you. Cool. Now, health potions. Red mushrooms, purple berries, and water. That's what I'm talking about right there. So health potions... And then we've got maximum time plus two minutes in the shroud. So if we, I don't have any wood asset. I don't even know what that is. So we need to extend time. Now look here, ice bolts and fireball bolts. I don't know. I guess you'd make bone meal out of bones. Ice bolts, water and shroud liquid. So these are for those staffs. Furniture, grinding stones, a simple setup for basic grinding work, especially good. Okay, this is probably where you get bones from, so let's make one of those. Bug dust. Critter parts, okay? We got that from, like, those little things that attack us. Glow dust, fi fireflies. Oh, look at that! Now I can actually make a shroud core. So I need five of these to upgrade the thing to a larger area my my altar so that's cool magical weapons a spiritual cane equipable ranged weapon 17 power okay and here's my ar oh the apprentice armor set look oh yeah magic resist physical resist let's see the chest 21 on physical, 42 on magic, plus 24 mana. We're going to need to make bone meal. And then books. I don't... Yeah, the books, the books throw me. Okay, so... We need to place down this. Okay, so you can make bone meal in here. Browse recipes. Bone meal. Bones. Well, I, I honestly, I have not come across any use for the bones. And you saw me deleting them. They stacked to 50 in here, and I didn't want to take up any more space. So I guess I'll start making bone meal. I really like that this is uh like it just goes it just makes it you don't have to like refill it now what do i need for those apprentice alchemists oh that stuff is so good i need the bone meal and then the, all this other stuff i have you can see that's the magic chest you see it all my stuff is available that magic chest is beast enhance equipment well, before we do that, we got to talk to him about this sword. Oi! <laughs> the Wailing Blade. You claim the Wailing Blade. I forgot uh, her grass. So she left me fine. You may wield it in her place. Pierce the Shroud's heart, Flameborn. It's what my daughter would want. That's it? 
That's it? Break no. A leg. Oh. Did he just say break a leg? I think that's it. He did, it, it was his daughter's sword? Look at blunt damage, which is like using a mace. You get piercing damage, cutting damage, more blunt damage, and more cutting damage. You know, just the way it looks. 160 max durability. Oh, its durability is pretty low compared to this. Ambush. That's hitting him in the back, I believe, and getting crits. All right, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with the Wailing Blade because it looks really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in there and that in there. And we're gonna take my Wailing Blade and I'm gonna take these runes and we're gonna go upgrade it. All right, the Wailing Blade. Twenty-two damage. Oh yeah, its durability is is really not good though. It's like a hundred less than the other swords. Like this sword is two sixty, right? This sword is two sixty on durability. Then we have this staff here, and there's some charges. Now we can start making charges. Uh. Oh, I, I got rid of the other staff I found, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so that. Put these runes back in there for now. Yeah, I don't wanna really want to walk around with two pairs of boots. All right, so. How cool is this, you guys? All right, so right now I don't need this other tool either, all right? Put this other tool away. Water. I do want to make some of those potions too. Let's see what we got here. Six bone meal so far. I'll go put the bone meal into the super secret chest, right? Now, the... Alright, the potions... I think... Did they need... Health potions. Red mushrooms. Purple berries. And water. Plus 200 health. Now, I drank a potion like once or twice, and it gave me some kind of weird, like, potion addiction. I don't know what that was all about. Potion addiction. So we're going to make some of that. And then this stuff needs bone meal. Oh, i got to make the hat right now. All right. Hope you'll I want to check the differences so hat so this one which is metal 15 and 10 and it gives you plus 11 melee critical chance this one 15 and 10 10 and 15 it reverses it Let's see what I look like oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> Dude, how good is that? I haven't run across too many magic people, though, you know? So, alchemist set. We don't have enough bone meal yet for that. We definitely make the gloves. Because I'm not even wearing any dang, any dang gloves. This guy wants more chests, too, by the way, right? This guy wants more chests. So... I could probably put make some more chests for him in here. I don't know if he wants the magic ones or Let's see this one here. Oh, I need nails. So nails are made uh, at the blacksmith with scrap metal. Oh, I need more bone meal, right? Four more bone meal. Oh, and by the way, I've been. I had this making, yeah, look, it's got 90 charcoal. I had this just kind of ticking away for a while. I think for now, I will put that stuff in there. Uh, what did I make, the chest? No. Did I make something else? 
I made the gloves. Ring of Endless Life. Six li uh, boots. I guess I didn't make anything else. I thought I would made something else. Oh, I needed more bone meal. That's why. Okay. Make the chest piece, maybe. Did I grab the bone meal? Six of seven. Is it in my inventory? What did I do with that bone meal? Oh, it's in my inventory. I don't know if that works, because there was bone meal in here, wasn't there? Two. There's eight. Okay. All right, so the chest piece, 21 and 42. Metal scraps, 24 mana. All right, let's see what this is all about. So chest, 42, 21. 21, 42. It just, it reverses it. It goes to more magic resistant than physical. Okay. I think, I think we can go with that. I think we can go with that. And then I need to take a look at these stinking boots that I have. So this one is the Wanderer's Boots. It's three and three and plus stamina regen. This is 10 and 5 and 1 health regen. Yeah, I think I'll wear these and put the other ones. I thought that stamina would help me, like, running around the world, you know? Wanderer's boots, yeah. I could actually... I found those things, so... All right, we've got, like, a couple arrows. Not very many arrows. So we need, we've got 22 water. Let's grab some of those and some of those, right? That, that, and the water, I believe. Should be able to make us some health potions. There's 10. There's 10. Okay. So, health potions. Now what we know we know what we need. We need water. We need the berries and the uh, mushrooms, just like was told to me. So that's cool. So, we got we're not going to carry berries anymore for our use. We're going to use this instead. So this does 4% healing per second for however many seconds or we've got this. 20 of those, 7 of those. And we'll we'll kind of run with those for now. See if I have any arrows. I could make probably... I have 19. I just end up grabbing whatever I have the most of. Because I actually don't use the bow that much. You know what I mean? Alright, so in my journal, we have four quests to do. The Story of Rot. The flame spoke the ancient obelisk, which reveal information about the world. The obelisk show hidden truths. Some are connected to what festers below. Discover the shroud obelisk. This must be a a new one. The story of rot. It's right there. Oh, we had this one before. So we have that one. We have this one. Let's go get the hunter. I say we go get the hunter. If you look where that's at, I could go from here and maybe fly over to it. Neener, 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 neener. Look at my hat, you guys. See, that's there, and it's showing it. it is over here where I haven't been. I don't know if it's just better to fly, like, fly across here. It's probably up in that tower there. And then from there, I could fly over to that tower and turn that on. It'll be another fast travel point. I think, honestly, it'd be better to go from up there and try and... Because this, I'm going to land short. I'm going to land short down in this valley. Yeah, it's pretty far over there. All right. <laughs> How cool is the wingsuit? Love it. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you see that big, like, black castle-looking thing in front of us? That might be where we're headed to. Yeah, I can steer. And that's let's test out our new sword. Yeah. How you punks like me now. Now I'm going to keep the bones because I know I need them. I'm going to keep getting mushrooms and berries. I can get water from the... Uh, like in town there, there's a well. I don't know if it always does it, but... I don't know. I got... I don't know, 10 water or something from there? Pretty pretty good amount of water. Take a look around. All right, we got that pretty cool looking place down there. Hey, grab this off the edge. Jeez. Oh yeah. There's that other, op so I could go from that one. It doesn't even look like I went that far, does it? Because it's literally right there. I need to get that one out there, too. All right. Let's do this. I don't know how long this is going to be. I just looked over and didn't realize that I really was... <laughs> I wasn't, quote, wasting time, you guys. I, I'm just, like... I don't want to do everything off camera. Like, it's it's really fun. I'm actually enjoying this game a lot. I'm uh, I'm enjoying it in a different way than I did Nightingale. Okay. I'm enjoying it in a different way. Is this it right here? Oh, this is something. This isn't necessarily what... Oh, it's a flame shrine. Okay, another spark engaged. Alright, I think it might be underground. So, we got this flame shrine here now. No, it's up here still. Why is it... This is 36 meters. Look, why does it say 12 meters and it's way over there? That's weird, right? Is it me? It's probably me. I dig my new hat, but I want like a blue one. Oh, look at that. There's a cave here. And then that's where I need to go up there. There's a boatload of wolves over there. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to I'm going to I know the wolves that want to come in here. I know they do. Dude, this is like literally a a place to sleep. It's like somebody made a place for me to sleep right there. I have arrived. I have... Dude, there is a ginormous thing right over there. And over here. What are those things? It's like a Ewok or something. Let's see if I can get some backstab in on him. Yeah. Backstab damage. Did you see this guy? Ah, he's got a brother! Yeah, can you climb there, Bubba? I don't think so. Oh, I didn't need to loot that stuff. That was Garbaggio. Lockpick? What? I don't have any metal scraps. Whatever, there's never anything good in there anyway. Ooh. 
loot. Yeah, of course these guys are full of hides. They're gigantic bear-looking thingies. Like they're they're hanging their own hides on the wall. Creepy. Housekeeping. <laughs> They're not very strong against that, are they? Okay, that guy was just chilling in here. Like this is his own little temple. You like your temple? All right, so a hunter. What is the hunter gonna give us? Why do these guys have sticks? They have fur and sticks. That dude chilling up there with his big old log in his hand. Dang, dude, you just got owned. I see this giant bonfire over here. Oh! Gigantic Ewoks in this place. Come on, you want me to collect that? And this. We were getting hide for days in here. Hide for days. Take that stuff. That. Oh, I, I scrolled and then I took everything. Derp. Oh, I still got good space though. All right. How's, oh, what the? Magic damage? That guy got killed. Is that their little protection for this area? First time I saw something like that, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we learned about those Butos in that other world. Three Butos. Right here. That's gotta be something good. Maybe there's... That's one. Maybe there's more up top. Okay. How do we get across here? Do you think I... Oh, I was going to say, do you think I could double jump across that? <laughs> Maybe I should look up. Okay, this goes up. We're going to find two more buttons to push. There's got to be somebody in here that wants to kill me. No? Okay. Scout gloves plus four more at hunter. Oh, there's the lady. It's the hunter. The huntress. I need to find those other buttons, man. There's a way to get up there that I didn't see at that other place. Of course, it's getting dark. That's where I came from. Is 
Do do do. My house is over there. Somewhere. Where are the other buttons at, man? Oh. Open sesame. Ooh, what's this? A bow. Man! That bow's garbage. I did all that for that? I'm looking for those other two buttons. Man, they got... Wait. Oh, that's the way I came in. I'm looking out the other way there. Okay. I wonder if the buttons could be way back out there. They're not down there. Okay, can't get up there. That's where I roped up to. Rope a dope. Hmm. No el butos. Gotta be hiding in here somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now it's dark in here, of course. door looking out the way I came up. Resin. Hmm. Well, after getting that bow that last time, maybe these buttons aren't that important, but maybe they're down like where those things are shooting. Could they be in there? So, the first button I found... Is there any magic areas here? first button I found was over there. It was right in here. That one. And then you look up there. Is that an actual button right there? Seem like that's a button? Up in the air like that? It is. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I. Oh, look at that. I did not know they could put them up there. You see, there's a. There's a grabber up there, too. Oh, okay, I saw there's some climby things. There's some climby things up there. Oh, I couldn't get to it. Oh, it sure would be nice if I could see. Why is it always like by the time I get here? See, there's some wall climby things there. Oh, shoot. I didn't know how long you could swing on that thing. I need more momentum. Oh! I need more momentum. Hey, let's try one of our health potions. Number seven. Bam! <laughs> that works good. I need, like, I need some momentum. Yes, baby! Momentum is my name. Pushing Butos is my game. 
Hey, what happened to starting to glide? I just broke both ankles. Oh my god, that was really dumb. Wow, dude, 200 heals your whole thing. And it's a ring. Uh, okay. It's just a ring. But what is that ring in comparison to this guy? So this one is 8 stamina, 10 heal. This one is 1 health regen, 20... Oh, man, that stamina is so important. That stamina is really important. Hey, what's this? Oh, the love letter to Queen... Jasmina. We got that. Well, we, you know, we're going to be back here. I'm going to head home. <laughs> I'm going to head home. Woo! All righty then. We made it. Hey, who left the door open? I know I did. I always do that. So we sleep. Night speed 60. Boom. All right, good. So before we call it on this one, I will spawn this person in, and then we'll come back next episode and do more. So that person's there. Now we want this person. Well, maybe right there and this is going to be the huntress lady you know this oh. okay cool all right so we'll come back next episode you guys see what the huntress lady has oh this wants me to talk to it the hunter is alive perhaps she can reveal a thing or two about survival in the shrouded lands oh she's like Shrouded lands expert, huh? Okay. I guess it was good. All right, everyone. Hit the old like, Buto. Jump in the next episode.